Okay. Okay, Car Elizabeth and Carol cannot talk, but you can talk. You say, yes, teacher. Okay? Okay, Nidia? Okay. Very good. I want to hear your voice, okay? Your beautiful voice. <laughs> All right. So it says, three characteristics of successful people, okay? I'm going to start reading and then... Only Nidia can continue because only Nidia has the microphone open. But in a following class, I would like you, Elizabeth and Carol, to have your microphone too. You can use the, the headphones of your cell phone so you can also participate, okay? All right, Nidia. Listen, listen. Three characteristics of successful people. Vision. All successful people know they won't get anywhere without a vision. Fred Smith's vision was for an overnight package delivery company. One of his colleagues, Professor, reportedly didn't think the idea would get off the ground. Never delays. Fred pursued his vision on today FedEx is one of the world's largest delivery companies. Mark Zuckerberg had a vision of a social networking website and drop out of college to get it underway. How? Facebook got to be one of the most widely used networking sites is considered a marketing phenomenon. Both men became billionaires. Very good. Okay, now is your turn, Nidia. Help me with persistence. Um, persistence? No sources con easily Akio Morita, founder of Sony, should be well done 100 of his first rice cookers. Harlan Sanders, Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe was rated <clears throat> one thousand nine times before a restaurant accepted neither product got off to a good start but neither of the entrepreneurs let fatal get them get them down or get in their way in fact, he is ready to find successful people who haven't experienced any setbacks. However, they tend to learn from their failures and get on with the job of rebuilding their business. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Nidia. And it says, listen, Nidia, I want you to listen and repeat. We need to okay. check the pronunciation, okay? Listen and repeat. The first is this one. Founder. Founder. Repeat. Founder, yes. We don't say founder. We say founder, okay? Okay. Repeat. Founder. Very good. Next one. Uh, rejected. Rejected. Repeat. Rejected. 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 Very good. Next one. Neither. 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 Very good. Next one. 
Entrepreneurs. 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 Very good. Next one. Rare. Rare. Rail. Rare. Rail. No, it's rare. 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 Very rare. Very good. Rare. Next one. Uh, successful. 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 Very good. Experience. Experience. Very good. Rebuilding. Rebuilding. Very good. Very good, Nidia. Excellent. Okay, let's continue with passion. Passion. It says... Every successful person gets ahead in life because they simply love what they do. Celebrity chef Rachel Ray had no formal training in culinary arts, but loved creating recipes and built a career around it. In fact, history is full of people who got to the top by doing things they love. Andre Agassi, Ralph Lauren, C. Richard Brayson, each one was successful and none of them graduated from college. Okay, very good. Today, I couldn't listen to Carolina, neither Elizabeth, but listen, for homework, you are going to send me a WhatsApp audio. I'm going to send you the audio for this reading. And you ladies, I want you for homework to record yourself on the telephone, you know, on WhatsApp. You record yourself reading a paragraph. I'm going to tell you what paragraph. And you send it to me so we can check your pronunciation. Okay, Elizabeth, Carolina? Very good. Let's continue on. So in this paragraph, we have different new words. Is there any word you ladies don't understand? Is there any word you don't understand? Ask me, what words you don't understand? Ask me, because if you ladies don't ask me, I'm going to ask you, okay? So you better ask me. Yes, we need to, right? That's why we are doing it. That's why we are doing it, Elizabeth. That's why. Mm -hmm. So next time, you uh, bring your microphone so we can practice it, okay? But you do it for homework too, okay? So, ladies, what words you don't understand? Nidia, get, what words get, you don't understand? Uh huh. Get anywhere. Get anywhere. Uh, where is it? Ah, get anywhere. Yeah, I see it. This one, right? The one that is right here at the beginning. It says, get anywhere. For example, for example, imagine you go to Mexico City and you are driving your car boom, in Mexico City. And then it is one hour and you don't get to the to your to your place. I mean, for example, you want to go to Six Flags and you're driving and you don't get to Six Flags. In two hours and you don't get to Six Flags. Three hours and you don't get to Six Flags and you are like, Oh my goodness, I am lost. I cannot get anywhere. So you're not going anywhere. You're lost. You have no clue. You have no idea. 
you have no uh how can i say uh, um, you have no objective no clear objective so you don't get any do you understand media yeah i understand perfect any other word Elizabeth, Carolina, any other word? Nidia, you can also ask me any other word. Yeah, sure, sure, read it. No more doubt? Because I am going to ask you, okay? If you don't ask me, I ask you, okay? <laughs> so you better ask me. Get off the ground. Okay, get off the ground. That's a very good one. I was going to ask you that. Okay, for example, you know the airplanes, the airplanes, the airplane, right? When the airplane, boom, it's getting off the ground. Shh. Getting off the ground. The airplane is going up, right? It's going up to the sky, airplane. Or the birds, right? They flying. They're getting off the ground. Okay? Is it okay? Clear? Very good. Thank you. Uh, Elizabeth says, get them down. Get them down. What is it? Ah, uh, okay. It says, <coughs> look, Elizabeth, it says, neither of the entrepreneurs let failure what is failure oh the main mistakes right errors so get them down for example imagine nidia is reading and i tell nidia nidia uh you make a mistake you don't have the correct pronunciation and nidia oh no I made a mistake. I don't want to speak English. No more. Forget it. I'm not coming to the course anymore. So she feels bad, right? She feels bad and she cries and she gets depressed. So get them down. She got it down. Okay? Bad. That is get them down to feel bad, to get them feel bad, to get them feel depressed desperate okay any other doubt no more doubts nidia no okay go to the top boom you go to the top that you go to the top the most uh, the highest part the top right very good the best boom okay all right i ask you you can answer you can answer uh in spanish okay you don't have to answer in english you can answer in spanish okay. media what is the meaning of delivery media delivery Delivery. Entregar. Entrega. Very good. Entrega. Very good, Nidia. Okay. Elizabeth, what's the meaning of drop out? Drop out. What is the meaning of drop out, Elizabeth? 
Ajá, ajá. I imagine Elizabeth right now in Google Translator, right? Like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, where is Rob out? <laughs> no idea. Media, Carolina, any ideas? Drop out. No. Es, oh es un frasal ver, es frasal ver. And what is the meaning? Caer. No, it's not caer. It means abandon. Abandon. Mm -hmm. It means abandon. I'm going to write it right here. Abandon. Mm -hmm. For example, for example, imagine, no? Imagine. You, uh, tomorrow, uh, Carolina decides to start the gym, right? And Carolina goes to Zumba classes. Boom. And Caro is in Zumba classes every day. Boom. And one day, Caro says, oh, I'm not going to Zumba classes anymore. I don't want Zumba anymore. And so Caro, boom, draw out Zumba classes. She doesn't go anymore. She abandons classes. She says, no more, right? So that is drop out. It's okay? It's okay? Yes, very good. Yes, it's like that. Like to say, boom, I quit, right? I quit. I don't want to continue. Very good. Okay. Um, Caro, what's the meaning of, um, what's the meaning of, what's the meaning of founder, founder, Caro? What's the meaning of founder, Caro? No, no. Fundador? Any other idea? Yes, very good, Nidia. Very good. Fundador, very good. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth, what's the meaning of neither? Neither. Uh, no, mm -mm, no. Yes, very good, Caro. Ningun. Very good, Caro. Very good. Okay. Uh, Nidia, what's the meaning of setbacks? Setbacks. I con confused. What, what, what was the confusion? Ah, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, Elizabeth. It's okay. Que se refiere, bueno, lo que entiendo es que se refiere a, perso a una persona que, como que, que retrocede. Very good, very good, yeah. Setback, it's to go back, right? Like you are here and you have a setback, so you go back. That's, that's correct, that's true. Very good, media. Okay. Uh, Caro, what's the meaning of uh, recipes? You don't know, okay. Uh, Elizabeth, recipes.
or media, you know? Objetos. Recipes. No, 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 Elizabeth, no. For example, you okay. ladies, you media, no, 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 sorry, media, no. You media know how to cook, you know how to cook mole. Yes or no? You know how to cook mole? Media? No. No? Oh my goodness. Do you know how to cook chilaquiles? Yeah. Okay. For example, you media know how to cook chilaquiles. So give me the recipe. Very good. Caro knows how to cook chilaquiles. Give me the recipe. Give me the recipe for me to cook chilaquiles. Tomorrow, I want to cook chilaquiles in my house. Uh -huh. I want you to give me the recipe. Very good, Caro. Very good. That's it. That's it. Is what Caro said. Caro said that. Very good, Caro. That is recipe. Is what Caro wrote. Lo que escribió Caro. Very good. Excellent. All right. The last one. The last one. Um, Elizabeth, what's the meaning of uh, college? This one, college, Elizabeth. Where's the word? It's right here. It's at the it's at the bottom. It's the last word. Is this one? College. Don't trick me, huh? Don't like I I bet you ladies are like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I wanna look at the Google. Look at the Google. College. What is it? Media, you know, college, caro. Help Elizabeth. Colegio, universidad, dependiendo del contexto. It is college. It's not, it's not colegio. Because in Spanish, we say colegio to refer to a private school. Cuando en español decimos colegio, we refer to private schools. Right? In English, no. In English, college, it's university right university that is college university okay so it's university okay good ladies very good okay nidia okay okay very good nidia okay it says exercise b pair word Find expressions in the article to replace the words in bold below. Do you agree with the statements discussed with a partner? I'm going to help you with the first one. The first one says, you won't succeed in life or go as far as you can in your career if you don't like what you do so we need to change succeed for one of the words in the reading mm -hmm. but needs to be for the word symbols de los que están en negritas right for example you won't succeed in life which one do you think we can use what podríamos poner Instead of succeed, in lugar de succeed, what do you think? Think about it, ladies. Uh, get then down Wait. 
se fue. Sorry, sorry, ladies, sorry, ladies, uh, technical difficulties, okay? So, uh, sorry, sorry, so, succeed, what would you use? What do you think? No ideas? I think we can change succeed for get anywhere, get anywhere, for example, you say, you won't get anywhere in life or instead of go as far as you can, as far as you can. Ah, here Elizabeth wrote, get off the ground. Very good, Elizabeth. Get off the ground. I exactly think the same. So you can say, you won't succeed in life or get off the ground in your career if you don't like what you do. Very good, okay? So you won't succeed in life. Instead of succeed, we use get anywhere. You won't get anywhere in life. Or get off the ground in your career if you don't like what you do. What? what? What, what what does it mean? Ah, it means that if you don't like what you do, you're lost. You're not going to be happy. You agree or disagree, Nidia? Car Carol, Elizabeth, you agree or disagree? You agree, Nidia. Yeah, Nidia better close her microphone. She said, I'm going to close my microphone. I don't want to participate. <laughs> oh, Nidia, come on. We were having a very good conversation. <laughs> okay. So you need to love what you do, right? Very good. Elizabeth, Caro, what do you think? Do you agree or disagree that you are not going to be successful if you don't love what you do? You agree. I agree too. You need to love what you do. If not, you're not happy, right? Very good. Do you ladies love what you do? Do you love what you do? Yes or no? Do you love what you do? Yes. Very good, Caro. Very good. Very good. I love what I do. I really love teaching English. Very good, Elizabeth. Okay, let's go to the number two. Number two says, it's not hard to start a business, but only businesses that is so well will be successful. It's not hard to start a business. But only businesses that start out well will be successful. What do you think, ladies? 
what can we use instead of start? Instead of start, what can we use, ladies? Gets ahead. Mm, I don't think so. Any other ideas? Caro, media, other ideas? It's very easy. Uh, no. No. No, I don't think so. Get some. Mm, no, no. Okay. Mm, okay, I will help you. Okay. It's the last time, ladies. You need to do better, okay? It says, it's not hard to start a business. I would say, I would say, it's not hard to get a business underway. Get a business underway. Get a business underway. Like this. Get it underway. Okay, what does it mean in Spanish? In Spanish, it means ponerlo en marcha, get on their way, ponerlo en marcha, right? Get on their way. So it's not hard to start a business. It's not hard to get a business underway. But only businesses that start out well, start out well. How can we replace start out well? What other word can we use instead of a start out well? Any ideas? Different, not a start out well, different idea. Got to be very good, Nidia. Wow, Nidia, excellent job. Got to be, I know that it started with, no, sorry, Nidia, it's not got to be. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Mm -mm. But, <coughs> but, <coughs> Elizabeth and Carolina wrote it previously. Elizabeth and Carolina grow previously. Got off to a good start. That would be. Got off to a good start. Only businesses that got off to a good start will be successful. Very good, Elizabeth. Yes. Okay. Got off to a good start. Uh, it means in Spanish like Tener un buen comienzo, right? Tener un buen comienzo. Got off to a good start. Mm -hmm. Very good. You won't make any progress. You won't make any progress in life if you don't have a passion. What do you think? Instead of make any progress, any progress, Instead of that, what would we use to replace any progress? Come on, ladies, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, probably, but the problem, Caro, is that we use get anywhere already. We use it for the first one. We cannot repeat it. 
So let's try with another one. Okay, Caro says, get, sorry, Nidia, Nidia, I get anywhere now. Caro says, get off the ground. Mm, we use get off the ground already, so we cannot use it anymore. Let's try with another one. Make any progress. The key is in progress. Ahí está la clave, in progress. Instead of progress, what can we say? What can we say? Get on. No. Come on, come on. You can do it. Think about it. Instead of progress, get to the top. No. We might say, Get ahead. What does ahead means? Adelante, right? In progress, progress. Okay, so it's the same. We might say you won't get ahead in life if you don't have the passion. Okay. Okay. Get ahead. Get ahead. Okay, we almost finished. We almost finished. Let's continue with the next one. <coughs> Failure only becomes a problem if you let it make you unhappy. Failure only becomes. You previously write it. Esta ya la había escrito alguien. Becomes. How can we replace become? What can we do? What can we say instead of become? Get to be very good, media. Very good. Get to be very good. Excellent. Now, make you unhappy. Instead of make you unhappy, I told you, I told you to get depressed, to feel sad. What did I tell you? Ladies, get them down. Very good, very good, Elizabeth. Excellent job. Very good. Okay. All right. Let's go for the last one. You did very good with the number four. Let's try number five. Successful people don't let anything stop them. Stop them. What would it be instead of stop them? They continue building their businesses. Instead of stop them, what would you say? Don't let anything. No, we, we, we actually have uh, very few options because we almost finished. It can be, okay, this one we use it already, this one we use it already, this one too. Very good, Nidia. Get in their way. Excellent job. And the last one. Continue. Instead of continue, we don't have many options. We only have two options. No, we use get ahead already. Mm -mm. We use it already. Ya lo usamos. We use it. Another one. Try another one. What can we try? Get on wet. Good job, Elizabeth. Is what Elizabeth says. Get on with. Continuar con. Continuar con. 
get on with. Okay, very good. Okay, ladies. We're going to stop right here today. Uh, we are going to continue on Tuesday. I, I'll continue working with you until, uh, you know, new notice. <laughs> okay, I need you to do three things, three things. Number one, next class, I want you to have microphone so I can listen to you and we can practice more your speaking, okay? Number two, homework. You, I'm going to send you this reading in audio. You will listen to the audio of the reading, this reading, and then you are going to record yourself on the cell phone and you're going to send me your WhatsApp audio, okay? Number three, number three. These five sentences, we did it today here all together. For homework, you're going to do it by yourself. You're going to rewrite them with the corrections we made, okay? And you send them to me on WhatsApp, okay? You write number one, this. You can write it on the notebook and send me a picture of your notebook or you can write it on whatsapp it's up to you okay doubts about the homework questions about the homework no questions about a homework The number three, okay. These sentences, what we did today, you're going to rewrite it, okay? For example, you write number one, we said, it says, you want to succeed in life as far, uh, or go as far as you can in your career. If you don't like what you do, and you're going to write it in your notebook. You're going to write it in your notebook. You Sorry, let me change the color. Color here. You, for example, you will write, you want, uh, and we said, get anywhere in your life or uh, get off the ground in your career, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so you are going to rewrite them the way we did it here, así como lo hicimos aquí, but in the notebook. Okay. Is it okay now? <clears throat> Any other doubt, ladies? Any other doubt? No doubts, is it okay, Nidia? Very good. Okay, Caro is okay. Uh, Elizabeth is okay? Very good. Okay, ladies, one more time. I'm really sorry about all of this and I'll see you on Tuesday. Do your homework. You have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to do your homework. You have four days to do the homework. I'll see you on Tuesday, okay? Have an excellent evening. I'll see you on Tuesday. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you, Carol. Thanks to you. Bye, Elizabeth. See you. See you. Don't forget your microphone. Bye bye.